Hi. Hello. Hello. Please, I would like a bottle of water. I'm sorry, what? A bottle of water. You mean water? Yes. Water. Right, right. Okay. Um, you like a bottle of water? Okay. Water. Mm, okay. Um, one one bottle of water coming up. Mm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Duni and on this channel I talk about everything and anything. And as you can see, today is gonna be a chilled, funny video, sort of not just chilled video, anyways. So um as you can see from the skits, like I'm not talking about accent challenge. I just decided to put that there so you guys can laugh small. <laughs> so basically this video is gonna be talking about words, Nigerian words versus um, Canadian words, words that I believe that new immigrants should start imbibing in their vocabulary once you arrive. So if you're new to Canada and you be kind of finding it difficult to imbibe some words, don't worry, don't worry, take your time. But these are words that you should know. So when you're talking with people that have been here for a while or Canadians, you kind of get the gist almost immediately. So we're going to talk about six words that I feel like are very important to imbibe in your vocabulary. So the first thing first. Dun, dun, dun. So we're going to talk about gas. Yes, I know you've heard it. Gas. I'm going to get gas station. Gas. So, you know, I'm going to fill up my car with gas. No, it's not natural gas. Yes, it is gasoline. <laughs> we call it petrol in Nigeria, as you know, because you are Nigerian, I'm guessing. You know, even if you're not, like, you know, and you're just watching it for fun. But in Nigeria, we call it petrol. And to be honest, it took me a while to understand what gas was. Before I arrived to North America in general, I, always, I used to think, right? this is me very naively used to think that gas meant oh natural gas that the cars here are you know are made differently from the cars in nigeria so they they usually used to put gas <laughs> in their car oh my god it never occurred to me to google i know but yeah i used to think that so when i got here i found out that it actually meant um gasoline not natural gas right so it's short for gasoline we call it petrol station for example they call it the gas station yeah so that's number one number two it's um parking so they call it parking here in canada but in nigeria we know it has a parking lot i'm going to the parking lot i'm going to where i park my car but here they say oh i'm going to the parkade even if you go to places right you see the sign it says parkade right number three is a uh, trash we call it the bin well i'm going to dispose of the bin for example not trash we don't call it trash we call it bin so trash can we call it bin right so i this these are like subtle subtle words that you kind of you sneak up in your vocabulary just to make them know that oh, okay you're already getting the hang of you know the culture here the language here the slangs here basically it, it helps in fitting into any whatever community you are in better especially if you are um, relating with canadians for example people that have lived here for a very long time you know and then number four elevator yeah so we know it has lived in nigeria oh please hold the lift you know for example it says someone say oh please hold the, hold the lift and then here they call it elevator why i don't know Say it elevates <laughs> it elevates you up and we call it the lift isn't it lifting you okay i don't know who comes up with this english to be honest but these are different things we, we we know it as i know we um we typically nigerians we tend to follow the british vocabulary the british english right so i think in britain as well so it's called lift but here it's called elevator not lift yep yep so when someone says hold the elevator they mean the lift that you are in so elevator next time you're talking to somebody <laughs> another one is called market so if you are from ninja and you know that going to the market to um for food for especially for food stuff you are going to the market yeah you're going inside the market you're not going to the shopping mall you're not going to shop right you're not going to spa you're going to the market like the main market like yaba market Osho the market mile 12 my you know yeah you get the gist yeah but here they call it um the farmer's market it's when farmers basically bring Bring out their fresh produce that they have stayed and come and sell it to the community so in each community you find like local local markets or farmers markets basically and then another thing is uh, holiday guys guys <laughs> it took me a while to understand that holiday is not a holiday right it's called a vacation 
So assuming that you're working and you have to take some time off, you call it a vacation basically. It doesn't matter where you're going. So it doesn't matter if you're doing like a staycation in your house. It's called I'm booking my vacation. We say, oh, I'm booking my leave days, for example. Um, or I'm going on a holiday. I'm booking my holiday. We say now vacation. <laughs> Here it's called vacation. So we say leave days in Nigeria, right? We say most times we use leave days in some portion. Switch people will say holiday. But it's vacation. It's vacation here so be sure to say vacation when you're talking to your colleagues or i'm taking some time off or i'm taking some vacation days yeah. off and the last one which is a bonus one which you know i said six but this is like a bonus one is floor main floor so in Niger, i know that yeah that um especially if you're living in apartment complexes like um stories for example or story buildings for example um we don't count the ground floor as the main floor so the main floor or the first floor starts from you know after the ground floor is the first floor but they call here most times they call here a uh, main floor and not ground floor so or sometimes you see on the elevator you see um if you're going to the ground floor it's number one right so they count it as the first floor but we in nigeria we start counting first floor from you know after the ground floor we call it ground floor so i'm going to i still say it's right i'm going to the ground floor right i'm going ground floor basically but it's called the main floor uh, for some reason i don't know why but it's called the main floor so yeah so guys it's just a chill video let me know in the comments nigerian um, canadian words that you feel like are different put on put them down in the comment section let's have a banter there i mean sometimes i feel like it's fun to talk about all of these things and when i hear them like wow you know it's not like we don't know english you really. just that vocabulary is different yeah but i know what we can go on and on and on but i feel like these are the major things that maybe not maybe but you know just to imbibe your voc vocabulary so that you can relate better with people you can relate better with canadians has see they go <laughs> yes yeah, so if you like if you like this kind of content please don't forget to like share and subscribe subscribe you know i just wait for you subscribe so Jin shakara just subscribe see you guys in my next video bye, 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 bye.